What's up everybody and welcome back to another live stream from the Scalar Learning Channel and we are continuing non-stop our Khan Academy SAT math series and today we're on lesson three category three linear relationship word problems and just like the other videos I'm going to jump in we're going to go through on the foundations of it we're going to solve the four practice problems that are given and I'm going to explain them along the way so the idea is if you go along with me on this journey we're going to go through the foundations level then we're going to go through medium we're kind of I'm going to be making videos every day leading up to the March SAT probably multiple because there's just so much to cover, um, but this will be a great ride for you if you are preparing for the math section. So without further ado, let's get into the mix here. We're going to jump in right off the bat. And if you do like this video, make sure to click that like button. If you want to see more, make sure to click subscribe. And if you do want to use the SAT crash course, which is the ultimate resource for digital SAT preparation, make sure to check the description there's a link in there with a 20% discount if you use the code SCALAR. All right, let's do this. Video games create a sense of motion by displaying still images called frames in rapid succession. A popular video game displays 60. Notice what I'm doing. I'm always underlining those key numbers. Uh, 60 frames per second. Which of the following equations shows the total number of frames, F, that the video will display in S seconds? So let's think this through, right? If we've got 60 frames per second, right? That would be one second would be 60. Two would be 120. Three would be 180. What am I doing? I'm taking the number of seconds and I'm multiplying it by 60. So as I'm kind of, and I'm not even looking at the answer choices yet. I'm kind of creating this relationship as they, I like how they call that relationship. I'm creating this relationship first in terms of my, my own logic. Now we're going to check the answer choices and see what makes sense here. So I've got F equals 60 S. I don't see it in those first three options, but there we have it in option D. And once again, you can double check, plug in one, you get 60, plug in two, you get 120, boom, done. All right, let's move it on. Here we go. The expression this gives the number of dollars that Josie makes from mowing L lawns, raking G gardens. So it looks like she makes $20 per lawn and $25 per garden and then loses a $10 fixed cost. I'm just interpreting, not that you need to do the same. Okay, how many dollars does Josie make from raking four gardens and mowing three lawns. This is a straight plug and chug, right? G is garden, so you plug in four for G, you're gonna plug in three for L, right? And then you're gonna minus 10, you're just gonna evaluate the expression. So that is 60 plus four times 25, which is 100 minus 10. 160 minus 10 is 150, that's it. Straight plug and chug, interpret the variables, step it through nice and carefully, and that's how you do it. Use a calculator if you need it. All right. Number three, here we go. The expression 4x gives the perimeter of a square. Okay, wait, they said square. Let's draw a square. Boom. They said expression 4x gives the perimeter of a square with side lengths x. Boom, 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 boom. What is the perimeter of a square with side length of 5 sevenths? So really what they're saying is you can just plug and chug 5 sevenths into this expression, but that also makes sense, right? If each of the sides are 5 sevenths, you just multiply that by 4. So 4 times 5 sevenths, again, I'm plugging it into here right? Four times five sevenths, that's 20 over seven. We are able to enter that just as is, as a nice improper fraction. It's all good. And we're good to go. Boom. Next. Question number four. Poppy the dog weighs P pounds and Yummy the cat weighs Y pounds. It probably weighs 36 more pounds. Okay. So watch my, this is what I'm gonna do. If Poppy weighs or is 36 more, that's plus, pounds than Yumi. You see how I'm like, I turn into an equation as I'm reading it, and as you get more fluid with this stuff, it'll make sense. That verb weighs, it's like is, it's like equals, okay? So P is, or P equals Y plus 36. Uh, correctly describes relationship. I already got it, I already got my relationship. Now I just gotta find the one that matches. Now, this is a little interesting because I'm, I'm glancing at the answer choices, I don't see this, but I know this equation is correct. Okay, so what does that mean? From here, you can, must be able to manipulate it because I know the relationship is correct to get one of these answer choices. Well, I see that P and Y for most of these are on the left side, so what if, how can I do that here? I can subtract Y from both sides, P minus Y, equals 36, and there we have option C. Let me read this one more time, make sure I didn't make a silly mistake. <clears throat> Poppy weighs, <clears throat> excuse me, 36 more than Yumi. This makes sense, right? If Yumi is 10, Poppy's 46, right? Yumi's 20, Poppy is 56, so that 
verifies that this is indeed the correct relationship. That means C is the winner. Let's check it. Boom, done. That's how we do it. Short and sweet. We're in and out with this, uh, these practice problems and we're done. So again, we're going to keep banging out probably lesson number four later today. Definitely join us for that. Once again, if you did like it, please click that like button. What's up, everybody? Ujwal, welcome. Arbakan, welcome. Sir, please do again. We're going to be doing it every day, multiple times a day. Writing it out really helps. Thanks. Awesome. Yeah, I'm so glad you guys find this helpful. Let, you know, join along with me. This is going to be a really fun build up to this March SAT because we're going to be, you're going to get to see a lot of me. I'm going to be doing a lot of videos. Uh, and I love the comments. I love joining in live. You can also watch the replay. So that's about all we got. All right. Have an amazing rest of your day. Good luck. Stay